Hi there, this is David and Marcy Lynn, the Just a Little Further crew, and we're here with another how-to video. Hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm installing an Aquasana two-stage filter for this video, but the process is pretty much the same for any undersink filter. To install a filter, we'll start by adding a new dedicated faucet. Then we'll tap into the cold water line by removing the cold water hose to the existing faucet and adding a T. Finally, we'll install the filter housing and connect the input and output hoses. Your sink will need a hole that's at least one half inches in diameter. Most sinks, like this one, come with extra holes pre-drilled. If yours doesn't, you'll have to drill one. To install the faucet, slide the trim piece and washer onto the faucet and drop it into the hole. From underneath, Slide the spacer and washer onto the bottom of the faucet, then screw the nut onto the faucet and tighten. This is much easier if you have someone to help you by holding the faucet while you're working below. Use a wrench to tighten the nut snugly in place. Next, we'll attach the water line to the faucet. Slide the provided nut onto the hose, then the plastic collar, and then push the plastic tube insert into the end of the hose. Press the hose assembly onto the end of the faucet and screw the nut into place. Tighten with a wrench. Next, we'll tap into the cold water line. This invariably involves spilling a little water, so I always have a small pan and some rags on hand. First, turn the cold water valve off, then open the cold water faucet to release the pressure. I find it much easier to attach the hose to the T before attaching it to the valve. Just as before, slide the provided nut onto the hose, then the plastic collar, and then push the tube insert into the end of the hose. Screw the assembly onto the T and tighten with a wrench. Next, we'll tap into the cold water line. Slide the pan under the valve to catch any water, then loosen and remove the hose from the cold water valve. Screw the T onto the valve, then reattach the cold water hose onto the top of the T. Next, we'll attach the filter housing to the wall. Find a place to mount the filter, then use a small level to draw a horizontal line. Use the mounting holes of the housing to mark the hole locations. A little tip here, before drilling, make sure you check that you aren't drilling into something on the other side of the panel. For this installation, I used a 7 seconds inch drill bit. Once the holes are drilled, press the wall anchors into the holes, hand start the screws, then screw them in most of the way. Mount the filter housing and tighten the screws until the housing is secure. The two hoses are attached by pressing them into the fittings. The hose from the T in the water line should go to the inlet side of the filter. It takes a fair amount of pressure to seat the hose. You can feel it slide into place. The hose from the new faucet is attached to the outlet side of the housing. Install the filters. I find it's easier to install them if I remove the housing from the wall. Turn the cold water valve back on and check for leaks. You should run water through the filter for about 10 minutes to get rid of any carbon particles. And finally, pour yourself a glass of filtered water to celebrate the moment. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you want to see more of our how to, travel, sailing, road trips, and trekking videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also blog and update our website regularly, so check us out at www.justalittlefurther.com. Bye for now.